In this video, we're going to go over the usage. Here on the usage tab in the control panel, you can see all sorts of stuff related to your usage and set up a lot of rules around that. You've got a real-time utilization graph, shows you the last 15 minutes of use. You can decide which internet connectors to show. And we see here just the uh, speeds at which they were utilized and they're color coded so you can uh, discern you know, what type of bandwidth source you're using up right now. As you can see, I've got three sources here. That's because I have multi-WAN configured for load balance. I've got bandwidth history. Again, this is broken down with color coding and by the internet connector. You can uh, kind of decide exactly what type of data you want to see here. You've got all of these options. I can see my custom group, my Verizon, which is uh, basically my hotspot phone, and then uh, an air card that I have from Verizon. So that way I can just track exactly how much data I've used in my combined uh, devices. Lots of uh, plans are not unlimited, so it's important to keep track of that. You can also do a show history. This reveals a uh, table with all of the history um, of your downloads. It shows the total of everything you've downloaded. You can export this to a CSV for your own records if you'd like. We've got a device overview. We've only got one device connected right now. That's my MacBook. We can see that I've used nothing on internal Wi-Fi. I've used a little bit of stuff through WFR control, and just a tiny bit through cellular, but I really haven't used much. Now this device overview is super helpful if you're trying to determine what devices are really hogging your data, um, and you can also base rules off of devices so if you see perhaps your son is really spending too much time on YouTube or Pandora and using all your cellular data, you can make a rule to uh, slow them down or stop them altogether. We'll get to that in a different video. We've got Wi-Fi network labels. We've got cellular hotspots. So basically, if you've got my iPhone and I know that it's getting internet from a cellular network, my Verizon account, I can uh, just put that in here and now it's going to be tracked as a cellular connection instead of internal Wi-Fi. This is just so you can group things pr appropriately, track something that you're even connected to through internal Wi-Fi as a cellular source got SSID tags and you've also got billing periods so for my Verizon I get billed on the first so I can just add that billing period and then my bandwidth history I can view how much I've used within my billing period on my Verizon group so it's just a way to kind of break it all down so that I'm sure that I'm looking at only how much data I've used from my Verizon devices within my billing period. I've got bandwidth groups here. Talked a little bit about that. As you can see, you name it your own, you can color it, whatever you want. You can also add more devices to the group. And uh, that basically just helps you combine the total usage from multiple sources and devices. As you can see, I've got my iPhone and then my cellular air card are under Verizon. I've got device restrictions. We're going to have a separate video on how to make those. So basically, this is how a Wi Fi Ranger is able to monitor and control all of your data. You can really optimize things, ensure that you never go over your bandwidth limit and uh, really see which devices are hogging all your data and then you can slow them down or stop them all together. 
Thanks for watching and be, be sure to check out the device restriction video.